Hello and welcome back to our Adobe Spark course. Now, in the previous lecture, we have talked about how you can sign up for free to Adobe Spark, how you can enter on the platform, create an account with your social media like Facebook uh, or Google or with your email. And after you log into your account, this is how your dashboard will look like. Now, what we want to show you in this lecture is the options that you have and what you can create with Adobe Spark. Now, first of all, this is how your dashboard looks like. What you can see here in this section are different inspiration projects from other, uh, let's say from other users of Adobe Spark and uh, also some blog posts and explainer videos and things that you can see. Okay, what you will see in the right top corner are the options to upgrade to the premium version, which has some premium features like adding your brand, which you can see in the left side top menu. You can see the projects and add your brand. Briefly, I will show you how you can do that at the end of this course. You also have uh, an icon here, which allows you to see different web apps and services from, uh, from Adobe, like the Creative Cloud, Document Cloud, Experience Cloud. Also, it gives you access to other, uh, let's say to other apps like uh, uh, Behance, Stock from Adobe, Lightroom, Fonts, Portfolio, and so on. Okay, you can also see all the apps because there are many more apps in the Creative Cloud of Adobe. Uh, what you can see below, okay, in this section here of the dashboard are the actual projects that we have created in time. We can go on them, we have different options like renaming them, duplicating them, downloading them, or deleting them. We can basically, you will probably save all of your projects to edit them in the future or be able to, let's say, duplicate them and edit them or so on. OK, now, how do you create a new project and what type of projects uh, can you create with Adobe? You just have to press on this icon with the plus sign on it here. And you will see that a new page will open for us in this section and uh, we can either search for something that we want to create a type of template, like a, a social graphics, flyers, presentations, and many others. Okay, or we can select a category from this menu here, graphic, and we have all the options here, like Facebook and Twitter, Twitter ad, Twitter code, and so on, for Instagram, for printing, for ads, and this is about everything in the graphic section. Then we have the web pages templates uh, like the photo journal, uh, web pages to grow your business like a newsletter or a presentation for teaching and studying, report, uh, something to sustain like uh, uh, a cause, let's say that you are a volunteer to something, a case study, something to promote your brand, organize an event. And this one we have already seen because it's popular. And then we have the video options uh, if you want to create a video project, uh, we have slideshow, a teaser video for social media, explainer video for teaching and studying, a campaign video, a promotional video to organize an event or an introductional video. OK, so these are all the types of, uh, let's say, uh, graphics and videos and web pages that we can create the templates basically that we have. I will go to the all section and if we scroll down in the all section, we will actually see them again and we can select them from here from the first page. OK, now in our next lecture, we will start with uh, graphics like social media posts and other type of graphics that we can create with our uh, new Adobe Spark account. Thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next. Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. In this lecture, we are going to talk about how you can create a graphic using Adobe Spark. Uh, first of all, we will talk about how we can create a social media type of post, OK, because we can also create other types of graphics for prints or for other types of media or marketing campaigns. So let's start uh, by selecting the graphic option from the project section and we have Facebook and Twitter or Instagram and for this example we will select an Instagram uh, promo because Instagram is very popular at the moment so you can see how you can create an Instagram promo using Adobe Spark uh, as you can see this is the canvas where you are actually editing your new graphic first of all you can give it a name here 
let's say this is test one okay and this is how our project will be called uh, this is the actual preview of the project what you will see with Adobe Spark with the free version obviously is that it has this small watermark with Adobe Spark it's on any type of project you do uh, even if it's graphics web pages or videos but it's not something which is let's say very disturbing for many people if you want to get rid of this watermark you have to upgrade to the premium version now first things first in the right side we can see that we have a menu and from this menu we can select the layout okay or the type of grid of our post but first before selecting the layout because we can see that we have other uh, another menu okay in the exterior part on the right side we can select a type of design okay and we have variations uh, let's say that we want this one this template we just have to select it and it will apply to the photo that we already have or let's say this one or this one it doesn't matter let's say that this one is the one that we want okay from the design now what we can add if we go with our uh, mouse okay or cursor on the add section we can add a logo an icon a text or photo let's say that we want to add the photo we can search for free photos office and let's say that we want to select this photo we just click on it and it was added okay the photo was added to the post we can actually make the photo smaller or bigger inside of this post okay like almost replacing the whole other photo because you see that it was added and the other photo remained as well we can scale it okay zoom in zoom out the photo we can rotate it if we want to flip it okay it's up to us or replace the image uh, we can select delete info about the photo and we can actually replace the other photo as well let's say that we want to replace the image and let's select office and now we will select a man and the image was replaced for us okay so this is how it works again we can scale it rotate it flip it however we want okay another thing that we can add on the image is text uh, let's say Monday done we have selected and added the text okay I got it and we have text styles and this is from the actual template that we have we have primary or secondary style but we will select primary we can select the size okay let's select the font now and we have different types of fonts here you can select a different type of font if you want to let's say that we want this one Monday okay uh, letter spacing okay alignment now we want primary okay opacity order okay and for order we have to capitalize and fit okay already selected so these are the text styles right we can select the, the shape of the text make your text stand out as you can see so we can select the text of the shape no we don't want that we want this one padding like adding something to the text right so the text will stand out let's say like this one and we make it a little smaller no primary okay so we have different options here okay for the sh for the shape of the text we can add something like this but we don't want that or something like this or this let's stay with this one okay then we have effects for the text shadow outline cutout which is pretty neat line thickness okay we, we we can select the line thickness so we have different options for text effects right 
and then we have the style okay and we just have to select the style for the text it's drag uh, it's like drag and drop here okay so we select a style however we want to we just play around with the styles till we find one that we like let's say that we like this one right then we can go again and play again with the text right color let's go we can switch the colors effects shape type opacity we want full opacity okay so this is how the text looks like then in the design section okay we can also add icons if we go back icons like arrow say that we want to add an arrow just add an arrow here okay we can replace opacity order we have different options color of the arrow maybe we want this type and that's pretty much it and we're done okay now we go back if we select here we can go back we can change the layout now if you want to move content without layout okay we have some options here but it's better to leave it like this because otherwise uh, you will interfere with how the template looks like if you select if you deselect this option uh, we can change the colors of the template okay we have different color schemes here or we can resize the template okay for a Facebook ad we have now for Instagram portrait and we have all the other options so we can use this this option to resize as well if you we don't want to create a new image right so this is how we create a new Instagram like uh, post okay and this works the same for every type of graphic we also have custom sizes if you want to and in our next lecture I will show you how to create like a Facebook ad or a different type of graphic but mainly this is how you will customize your graphics as you have seen here in this lecture okay now what do we want to do it's either share the image or download it to our computer right if we press download we can select print PDF or image just press the start download and it was downloaded now let's see the image okay this is how the image looks like pretty neat right let's close it let's go back and if we want to share the image we just select share and we select one of our social media platforms Facebook Twitter classroom email or link okay we can get a link and share the image with whomever we want okay now let's close it this is how you create a new Instagram post I hope you have enjoyed this lecture and that it was clear for you and we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course in our previous lecture we have seen how we can create a new Instagram type of post so uh, let's say a graphic resource that we have created with Adobe Spark now in this new lecture we are going to see how we can create a different type of graphic post and because many of you are online marketers and entrepreneurs and on online businesses and you create marketing campaigns you probably want to know how you can create a type of ad that you can use on different types of platforms in your in your online marketing campaigns now first things first in the dashboard we go again and press the plus sign and on the plus sign in the graphics section we scroll down and we have the ads subsection okay and from the ad subsection for this example we are going to choose the platform which is most popular at the moment and that platform is Facebook okay so we are going to select a, let's say a size template for Facebook and we are going to select the Facebook ad type of graphic we are waiting for the page to load and this is how it looks like obviously we are going to have different types of designs and that's where the big advantage is that for each type of ad we have different type of variations or templates first of all let's give it a name Facebook ad template one okay and this is how it looks at the moment the variation if we look in the right side of the screen we can see that we have the same 
menus as in the previous lecture when we have created the Instagram post. And we first of all, we have the, let's say the bigger menu, which shows us different types of layouts for our Facebook ad. And we have a couple of suggested layouts, then a simple layout, a banner type of layout or different types of grids. Uh, as you already know, the grids basically are sectioning your picture or your template and you can introduce more types of pictures in your template, okay, more photos. It's like a collage, okay, the grid is like a collage. Now let's see what type of designs we have. We select design icon from the right menu and we have different variations here. Let's scroll down, very beautiful variations and very useful. Uh, to create a custom Facebook ad can cost you a lot of money uh, from a graphic designer. So this is a big advantage using Adobe Spark to create free uh, ads for Facebook. Let's scroll down to find something that we like. Let's say that we are running a marathon ad or we like this type of template. We will select it and this is how it will look like. The photo didn't change obviously because this is the photo that we have. We can replace the photo uh, by selecting it and going and replacing the image. Okay, it's very, very simple. Now every element in this grid is uh, editable, okay? And not just editable, we can also customize it a little so the template doesn't have to stay exactly as it is. We can customize it a little bit. First of all, we can, let's say, uh, customize the text. We can edit the text. As you can see, if we select it, a new type of menu appears and you are, are already a little bit familiar from our previous lecture with how you can edit the text, like the size, the letter spacing, the line spacing, okay, the opacity, the order, and maybe what is most important, the, the type of font, okay? So this is how we edit the text. You already know the options that we have, the shape of the text, the effects, okay? So everything is editable. Now, again, uh, as you can see, the template that we are using is actually a grid. So we can modify this grid or this layout. Let's say that we want the text to be on a bigger type of shape. We just have to drag it. Okay, just like this. Maybe we want the, let's say, the part below to, to be dragged, okay, to, to look like a different, to have like a different layout. Or let's say that we want the image to be like smaller, okay? or just to enlarge the part of the image. The one, I mean, the one that occupies uh, a specific portion of our template, right? So this is how we do it. It's very, very simple. Now, this is how you create a Facebook ad. Obviously, the other parts are the same, like the color scheme. We can change the color scheme and you will see that the template is changed. Okay, or something like this, or maybe something like this. And if we change the color scheme, we can try different variations till we find the color scheme that we like or it's or the color scheme, which is a good fit for our business, right? The layout, you have already seen how we can use the layout. The resize, you know how we can already use the resize. So uh, there's no point in going again for this. Basically, this is how we can create uh, a Facebook ad template and it works the same for every type of other template. OK, now. We may, we may want to download the image, just press the start download button and it's pretty much done. So again, thank you for watching this and we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture where we are going to discuss about how you can create a flyer. Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can create a new different type of graphic for our marketing uh, activities or for personal purposes. And we are going to see how we can create a cover photo, which is something that we can use for our Facebook page, for example, okay? So we are going to see how we can create a cover. Now, bear with me for a couple of seconds till the editor is loaded. This is how it's going to look like. As for the designs that you have previously seen, and that we have previously created, uh, you will see that it's very similar again. Uh, what will be different are the designs, variations and templates and also the way we, we can change the layout. Now let's select something different for this one, like the, this banner type of layout. Okay. And now let's see what type of designs we have. 
and we have a few very interesting variations okay now let's select one of them and let's say that we like this one civil rights day okay we are going to select these templates and this is how it's going to look like as you can see our layout has been changed because now it's in accordance to the template itself okay so we have different options here that we can change okay like the textiles the icon and everything else okay you already know how we can edit the other uh, effects of the text and of the elements and this is pretty much it now let's give it a name test one cover okay and then we can download it share it or do whatever we want with the image thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this adobe spark course till now we have seen how we can do different types of uh, graphics using adobe spark graphics that uh, would probably cost us a lot of money otherwise if we would outsource them or use other apps because we won't have templates uh, and if we would we would have to pay for them now in this lecture i am going to show you how you can use adobe spark uh, for graphics in a more personal purpose for creating a collage so what we have to do right now is click again after we are logged into our dashboard on the plus sign and from the graphics section if we scroll down we will have different types of options here right but what we are looking for let's go back to all uh, we want to create a collage right so we are going to select the collage option from the all section and let's give it a name personal test saving and this is how our collage will look like okay we have different elements each picture or each photo can be replaced okay scale rotated you already know how to edit them what will be different again like uh, at all the other type of graphic templates or graphics that we have seen so far is the looks of the collage okay the looks of the images and the collage itself okay add photo we can add a photo to the collage let's find a free photo desert let's say we we want to add this photo and it has been added in the collage for us and this is how we edit it automatically okay we can just switch between the images okay add them you know switch them and so on now how do we how do we basically edit the looks of an image so it uh, maybe it looks a little bit different with a, a better effect uh, we just have to select the looks option and you will see that we have different filters and we can also apply the filter to all the images uh, we can add light we can add multiply colorize mate i think the contrast looks very very good and we can apply it to all of our images okay we can also add effect like a blur effect to our image and you can see it happening on the image so this is pretty much how we can uh, how we can add images and change the effects for them so after we are done with the collage as you have seen uh, it's very easy to add now let's add let's say an icon not an arrow uh, coin it has also added another element this is just an example okay I have deleted it after we are done with the with the project with the collage itself again it's very simple uh, you can see that we have layouts also for the collages so it's not necessarily automatic you can select one of the layouts from here and after we are done with the collage and how it looks like and if we like it we just press the download button and you already know the procedure it will be downloaded to our computer or if we select the share button it will be shared uh, on our social media if we want to now this is pretty much it it's very simple to also create a collage to create a very very nice memory for i know for your family for your friends or just for simple personal 
purposes. Thank you again for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next. Hello guys and welcome to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. Now in the previous lecture we have seen how we can create different types of graphic designs using Adobe Spark, especially for social media and for ads and marketing campaigns. Now we are going to uh, see exactly how we can create a type of graphic that we can use for uh, classical marketing campaigns like prints, right? So what we are going to create in this lecture is a type of flyer. Uh, obviously it's very very similar with what you have seen in the previous lectures but it has some specifics and we are going to go through those specific uh, specifics a little bit and then uh, we are going to move on to our next lectures now first things first from the dashboard as you have seen we have selected the graphics section and we are going to scroll down till we find the graphics templates for print and we have posters flyers promo cards business cards and save the date. Now in this lecture we are going to create a flyer and we are going to select this flyer and we are waiting for the canvas to be loaded and this is what we have at the moment. We are giving it a name flyer test one so we have the we have the name and this is how the flyer looks like. First things first as you can see it's pretty similar to the other types of graphics that we have created before uh, the menu and the editing part we can select any of the elements that we have here okay it's very very similar but what we are going what we are going to see different are the designs right we're going to this into the design section and we will find different variations right we can select from different types of variations and let's say that we want for this flyer this one last days of summer and this is how the flyer will look like okay then we go to the layouts the layouts are also something uh, which we find to be different than the other graphics templates we have simple banner styles grid styles and so on right and in rest we have uh, pretty much the same options like adding text photo icons uh, colors we can change the color schemes as you can see okay so it's pretty much very very similar and pretty much the same okay now thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture where we are going to discuss how we can create a video hello and welcome to our next lecture from this adobe spark course in this lecture we are going to discuss about how we can create a video for our projects marketing campaigns social media activity or uh, maybe other type of activity that we have for our businesses and not just for our businesses but for personal purposes as well now first things first after we have logged into our dashboard we click on the plus icon and we will have the options here to select a video okay uh, anyway any type of video you would select you will be able to change the type of template from inside the actual video editor so don't worry about that right for this example we are going to select a promotional type of video because many of you have businesses or you run marketing campaigns and this is probably the type of video and template uh, that interests you the most so let's select this one promote video let's give it a name test promo one and now we have to pick a story template or start from scratch okay we have a specific type of templates which contain a specific number of slides for each of the videos uh, based on the idea of uh, what we want to create as a video and the story that we have okay if we want to promote an idea we will have a specific number of slides in our video which follow a specific type of narration or story right uh, tell what happened a hero's journey uh, show and tell personal growth if we want to teach a lesson uh, an invitation to something or make make our own story right now let's say that we want to promote an idea because that's what uh, we have specified in the beginning so we will select this one promote an idea okay and 
Bear with me for a couple of seconds. And this is it. Okay, this is how the video editor looks like. Very, very simple. We have uh, a menu in the right top corner with layout, theme, resize and music, right? And we can see here that we have a specific number of slides, setting, okay? The problem that we want to solve with our business, what could be, how uh, it should look like if the problem doesn't exist, the solution which is probably our idea or product, the reward and how we can help you, right? So. Basically, this is this is the part that we want to, uh, let's say, to, to stand out because we are giving them the solution through our product. OK, and let's say in the setting, let's go back. We can play from here the problem. If we want to add another slide, we just add it and we have selected it to be the first slide now this slide is already selected so i'm going to show you how it works okay we have a plus button here that means that on this slide we can add whatever we want a text a video a photo or an icon now in the right side of the screen we can see that we have a menu with different layouts for our slides we have full screen like it's right now split screen so we will be able to add two different types of elements a caption type of slide and the caption type of slide is a little bit different okay because you can add captions to your slide or a title and text okay and with title and text we just have to select from here the title okay and from from here a video or a photo in the caption section can select the video photo and the actual caption right and let's say that we want to leave it full screen we want caption this is how it's going to look like title this is how it's going to look like now you can also add voice over to your slides and videos which is very very cool you have to uh, keep pressed this button here for mic recording okay for recording your voice over with your microphone so it's pretty simple. You just ha you just have to click on it and keep it pushed while you are talking on the slide. And when you release it, the slide is over and the voiceover is over. Pretty neat, right? Now let me show you how you can select a theme. After you are finished with one, with one slide, you can go to the next one and you choose a different template and so on. Now let me show you how you choose a theme. We have title, which is very simple. We just select a different type of of uh, let's say uh, of color which is simple to do and we have other types of templates as well let's say that we want the statement type and basically uh, the difference between them is uh, how they do the transitioning between the slides and what type of effects they have on the text okay it's pretty simple and you can see if you if you basically go with your mouse cursor over each of the templates you'll see how they do the transition and what type of fonts they are using right okay we have the resize option for widescreen or square and we can also add music which is very important so music on or music off let's say that we want music off on from here we set the volume and we have different types of uh, of music that we can add we click on them to actually see how they uh, how, how they sound or we play them when we click on them we select them okay so very very simple to do and it's very useful because every video which has a soundtrack has a specific something that is more attractive after we are done with everything with adding the music the text and absolutely everything now let me show you for example how we can add content as well here we have text okay text one and after adding the text, we can move to the next slide and so on. That's pretty much it. It's not complicated at all, as you can see. And the best part is that you can preview your video. Let's select the preview option. We didn't add anything on the slide, so that's why it doesn't appear, only the text one. You can hear also the music in the background. We can pause it now. And what we can do is either share the video now that we are finished with it, 
or download it to our computer. If you download it, it's preparing the video and it will take a while, a couple of uh, seconds, like 30 seconds or maybe up to one minute for it to be ready. But uh, after that, we can download it to our computer. And as you can see, the test promo was downloaded. It has only 300 and uh, 55 kilobytes, so it's not big at all. Let's see if we can actually see it. And I will try to open it right now on my computer so you can see it. Okay, this is it. Text one. Okay, now let's go back or we can share it on our social media. We give it a name, a title. It's for business. We give it a subtitle. Uh, the author, get noticed. Okay, so everything. And we can also create a link for it. Okay, and if we have this on button or feature uh, approved, it will appear on the Adobe Spark website so other users can see it as well. Now let me close this. So this is pretty much how you can create a video. It's very, very useful if you want to create a fast and efficient video for your marketing campaigns or for personal purposes as well. Now, thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture. Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. Now, in the previous lectures, we have talked about how we can create different types of graphics for social media and for printing also for our different types of marketing campaigns. And we have also seen how we can create videos uh, for both business purposes and also personal purposes. Now I want to show you in this video how we can create web pages for our businesses or also for our, our personal purposes using Adobe Spark and all completely for free. Now what we have to do again first of all we have to log into our dashboard. We have to click again on the plus sign and we will have the options here web page. We select web page. As you already know, we have the popular web page, which is the photo journal. And if you scroll down, we can see all of the other options like the ones for grow your business, for teach and study, for sustaining, uh, let's say, a cause like volunteering or something like, I don't know, saving a forest somewhere, for promoting our brand, for organizing an event, and again, the photo journal. Okay, now because a lot of you are probably interested in promoting and growing your businesses because you are working in marketing or you have your own online businesses or you are doing marketing campaigns, uh, we are going to see how we can create a presentation web page. Okay, so we are going to select this template. Now bear with me for a couple of seconds till the actual uh, web page editor is loaded and here we are, it is done. Basically, how are we starting? By selecting a theme. You can see in the right top corner that we have the option to select a theme. Now, what is a theme for the web pages in Adobe Spark? It's uh, uh, basically a type of styles that we use on the page, like fonts, colors, and so on. Now, what we are going to use for this one is the vintage theme, which has a specific type of text, as you can see right here. And now let's add a title, example, and the subtitle sub example and this is it now as we are scrolling down the page you can see that we have another small plus sign and we can add a different type of element to our web page we can select a photo a text a button a video a photo grid a glide show or a split layout in a split layout we can add different two different types of elements now because in the previous type of uh, elements that we have created with Adobe Sparks in the graphics and in the videos you have seen how we can add text and photos and other things like that. I will show you how you can add the photo grid, a button, a glide show and the split layout. Okay, so it is clear for you. Now, first of all, let's try to add a photo grid. Now, we have opened the grid editor as you can see, it, it appears here, edit grid. Let's find a few photos that we want to add. We are going to search for office and let's select a few and you can see that as we are selecting the photos that we want to add in the grid the grid is automatically created okay it doesn't have a specific type of layout or anything like that okay it will be created automatically by us now if we select one of the photo 
photos from the grid, we can enlarge the photo. Okay, and by enlarging the photo, we are creating a different type of grid, as you can see. Let's add another photo so it's even more clearer. Okay, this is how the new type of grid will look like. If we select another photo and we want to uh, not replace it, but enlarge this one too, we, have, we will have two large photos and three smaller photos. So this is how the grid will look like. Now we are going to save the grid and on our web page, this is how the photo grid or collage will look like. Now let me show you how to add a video. Why? Because we are not going to add a video from Adobe Spark, but if we are going to select this option, we are going to add an embedded video from YouTube. Basically what we have to do is go on YouTube and copy the code of the embedded video from YouTube and paste it here, save it and the video will appear. I will cancel it for the moment. I think you got the idea. Now what we are going to add is a glide show, which is something a little bit different. So it's similar to a collage, but uh, it has some extra features and some very, very cool effects. Let's select three photos from here. <clears throat> we have all three of them. Let's save the glide show as it is. And basically after the collage, we have the glide show and the glide show, this is how it looks like. Okay. It has a very smooth transitioning effect between photos. It's like staying on the web page, but the photo is changing. And the cool part is that we can add specific elements on the photos, like a photo, a text, a button, or a video. And because we haven't seen how we can add a button to the web page, I will show you here in this option. We are going to select a button button. Uh, let's say it says buy now and here we are putting the website google.com okay we can align the button in the middle or in the right side or left side let's say we want in the middle we are saving the button and above or below the button we can add again either a video on this uh, background image from the glide show or a text or anything like that so this is how the button will look like if we want to edit it, we edit it, save it, and it's very, very simple, right? So this is how we add a button. Now we can continue with editing our web page. I will also show you how we can create a split layout. Basically in a split layout, you can add an image. Let's select for the sake of this example, this one. And in the right side, we can add a button, a photo, a text, a video, whatever we want. Let's say that we want a text testing one okay we want to align it in the center bold and this is how it will look like okay so we have added a text so this is how the split layout works we can obviously change the positions of the layouts the photo to be in the right and the text in the left side and this is how it's going to look like now after we are done with the web page we can see how it looks like so we go into the preview mode and let's scroll up so this is how the web page looks like the header then we have the collage with the photos then the glide show okay and then the split layout and it's done we have credits okay made with adobe spark this is pretty much it let me close the preview we also can work with the settings header and footer we can turn them off if we have the premium version so the credits for adobe spark won't appear anymore in the footer of the page if we are turning this off and if we have the premium version we can present okay so this is how the web page will look like if we present it so in presentation mode now let me close it or we can share the web page with someone publish and share the link or printing so from publish and sharing the link we just give it a title pick a category follow credits and so on and a link will be created for us and that will be the basically the link of our web page so as you can see it's pretty simple to also create a web page using adobe spark and it's also very very efficient now thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next and final lecture for this course Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. In this lecture, I am going to show you one of the final options that you have with Adobe 
uh, Spark. And that is if you are upgrading to the premium account and you can add your own branding to all of your projects. Now, how you do that? After you log into your dashboard, you will see an option here which says add brand. If you select that add brand option, this is what is going to happen, okay? Uh, first of all, you will have to select your logo and I chose one as an example for you. Let's say that we want to use, let me find something, okay, this icon as a logo, the App Store. The colors, let's say we want blue colors and we can see here uh, the preview of the branding, right? And the type of font that we want to use. Okay, specific type of font. So basically this is going to be like our uh, visual elements for our brand. And then if, if we pray next, this option will appear for us. And for those of us who want to use this for branding purposes and to use Adobe Spark with its premium features, we can uh, click on the upgrade now option and we can just pay for the premium versions and have branding as well. Okay, this was pretty much it. We thank you very much for uh, watching this course and these lectures. We hope this was useful for you. We are looking forward to see you in our next uh, courses and lectures as well. Bye bye for now.